Since I was a teenager, sailing has always been my favorite source of adrenaline, inspiration and bonding with nature. This passion includes windsurfing, light sailing, and even radio-controlled sailing boat models. At some point I realized that the way a light sailing boat is driven hasn't changed for centuries. I had to do something about it. This would be my next challenge. Why not replicating the way cars are driven by placing the sailor in a seat with a steering wheel in his hands? But there was an issue to be solved. On a light sailing boat, the sailor must move from one side to the other in order to counterbalance the force of the wind, or else the boat will tilt and may even capsize. Why not having a movable seat that can slide to the right position in every moment? Of course the steering wheel would have to go along with the seat and the sail trimming, usually done by pulling or releasing a cord, could now be linked to the seat angular position. The concept was born. I decided that it should be applied on a catamaran because a pair of holes would ensure more stability, optimizing the system chances to succeed. I also decided that the full-scale functional prototype I was about to build would use the most possible amount of parts already available on the market. The hose, the mast and the sail would come from windsurfing, the steering wheel and the seat position locking system would come from bike gear and finally a lot of sailing gear. As the holes are windsurfing boards, one of the specifications I have to keep in mind was that it would be possible to convert any of the boards back to windsurfing again by easily removing the catamaran interfaces and applying specific windsurfing gear with another sail, 5.5 square meters. Another specification was that the boat and all the sailing gear would have to be transported in a conventional car without a trailer. Therefore, it would be carried disassembled and easily reassembled by the water. Over the next two years, I bought all the standard components and conceived all other necessary non-standard parts, manufacturing most of them myself. I had to solve many issues along the way some of them completely new, but in the end all systems work just fine. Over the years I've been upgrading the steering system in order to improve its efficiency at high speeds, it's not perfect yet. When sailing with enough wind, the angular displacement of the seat from one side to the other is performed autonomously on tacking. The sailor only has to unlock the seat angular position in the moment it turns the steering wheel. The radial position of the seat is set based on the intensity of the wind and it can be displaced with the legs after unlocking it. Let's watch the sailing footage I got. Sorry for some low resolution videos I'm presenting. Since then, this prototype sailing catamaran I named ProCat has given me many miles and hours of pleasure and adrenaline sailing on rivers, lakes, and even at sea.
Unfortunately, the videos I shot, I was sailing in light winds and from the rides of the last few years, where I had the opportunity to sail really fast, I have none. I will not miss the next chance for shooting a decent video. Upgrading the steering system, from two rudders, one on each hole, to a single central rudder.
Unfortunately, I don't have any sailing footage after this upgrade. <laughs>